this is a first person freaking video game. This is amazing. When I took off the headset, I was, it's a different world out here. It's amazing, it's the coolest thing I think I've ever done. It felt really natural, actually. No controllers, no press this to shoot, press this to block. Just grab it, do it yourself. When I put on that headset, I was in the game. You don't ever have that experience, ever. I want the rig, I do. Oh, definitely, this thing is awesome. Like, I, I'm extremely interested in getting one of these. This is something I would buy and keep for as long as I can. I'm probably gonna play it all night if we do get one, I'm just gonna fall asleep like this and then I wake up and like <laughs> That's like my concern with them sitting at home just playing games all the time. Um, so knowing that they can get out and get some exercise, it is excellent. I think it's got a lot more practical purposes than just gaming. You could make a robots class out of the thing if you wanted to. I just got done with MCT, which is the combat training. And in combat training, we do something called mount. It's basically clearing rooms. And that was kind of a real life example of what we had to do, especially when you got to the higher levels, you had the moving objects, you had the objects in the air, you had the objects on the balcony. In any type of scenario that you want, you know, whether it be active shooter, with suicide bomber, just regular team building exercises, you know, clearing the mountains in Afghanistan, you could use this machine. It makes a lot more sense to actually have this type of game around. It's the thing we saw as kids growing up that you wouldn't think would come into existence, but here it is. Within five years at the absolute most, you will know at least two people with this thing. You see yourself having one of these someday? Um, in the near future, as soon as possible. As soon as possible.